Today I'm going to show you the new ways for 2025 to add an image to your article in Substack. I made one of these videos back in 2023, but while most of it's still a similar process, you have some new ways of doing this now that you didn't have the last time I made this video. So the way you'll do it is you will click on this image up here at the top, and you have four, you have four options available to you. You have add image, you have add gallery, add stock photo, or generate. Add an image would be like if you have an image on your computer, for example. I will show you this because I've already done it. Go to downloads. Here is the thumbnail I'm going to use for this video. You would find that image on your computer. You click open, and then there you have it. The image has been added to your article. It takes it a second usually to kind of upload it, but then and it's there. So you could make your own photo or take your own photo and upload it that way. But let's say you want to add a gallery. Well, that's if maybe you have multiple images you want to upload. So let's say I have, I'm going to use these three images. Uh, I want to upload all three of these. So I hold down Control, click all three, hit Open. And what you will see is it has now added all three of these. And I'm going to click, while I could fill in the caption, uh, this would be uh, the credit to it uh, if you want to put, you know, author photo. And then you do an alt description. You describe what you're seeing there. Then you hit add gallery. Now you can add, as you can see, up to nine images. So there is a limit to how many of these you could add. But then there you see, there's all three of them, and it would then display rows of uh, three. So that's what you could do. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then let's look at the add stock photo. This is if you're just wanting to add something uh, that is already in Substack. Substack partners with Unsplash, which these are photos are free to use. I like that one right there, this blue orange, this blue orange. And you want to choose that one. You click insert and the the caption, the credit is already done for you. So you could use that photo. All of these features have been available with Substack. This one is the one, though, that is new, is if you want to generate a photo. Substack has a, a built-in AI that allows you to generate a photo. So let's say you want to um, a tree on a hill, and let's generate that. You usually will have to wait a few moments for it to do that. But you have a different styles, black and white, photo, comic. And as you can see, it does a fairly, if you start trying to generate people or, you know, a crowd of people, you're going to notice some things that are off. But if you're just doing scenery, let's take this one right here and we insert it. As you can tell, that's a very well done scene. And at first glance... Even knowing this is AI generated, it would be very difficult to tell that this is generated by AI. So you have to play around with it a little bit, but depending on what you're generating, it's going to come out better than others. But you're just going to have to do that. But those are the four options you have to add an image. That's how you do it. And those are the four options you have to add an image to your article in Substack. Hope this has been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to the channel so that you can... I'm going to continue to try to put out more of these videos to help you with things just like this. But I hope you have a good rest of your day.